The focus observations, you already know ahead of time because you've created these goals, you've made the plans together. So the practitioner already knows exactly what I'm coming in to observe. So the observation can be done in different ways. It could be videotaped. It could be just uh, me taking down some anecdotals, but it's very specific to the goal that we're focusing on. So then it makes it easier to then go back and either review the video or you know, talk about the whole process. So then we could really see what is actually happening with that time, with that goal that we're trying to set. So um, it, it works out where the, the observation is timed, it's um, really explicit, so we know exactly what we're looking for, and then we get to review it afterwards. So we created this form, and I told the teacher ahead of time, we planned a day, I'm gonna come in and just look at your goal. So if your goal is to increase engagement in group time, in large group time, I'm gonna come in during your large group time, and I'm gonna be taking notes on what's happening during that large group time, really focusing on the engagement of the children, what the teacher is doing, and what the children are doing during that time. And then, then I write kind of notes to myself as a coach as I'm going through. Then usually because of that focus observation, I don't have to be there the whole class time. I usually take some time to step out, do some reflection on my own, and then come, we, the teacher and I meet together as soon as possible after that, and we review the focus observation. And I go through and say, so these are the things that are happening, and here are the things that I'm wondering. What did you notice? We can say, okay, well, this is what we need to work on, but we have to stop and we have to reflect on it. What is working? What is not working? What can I change? And I learned to be able to really trust in the observations, which that was something that was very powerful for me. I can't always see what I'm doing in the moment. I think I'm doing all the things. And then someone will say, well, you did this, this, and this, but I noticed that this was happening. Do you know why? And so being able to work through the, that, those questions together was, was a powerful experience in the, mentor, in the mentor program. I have used videotape, and that's something that you kind of have to walk into lightly. I wouldn't just bring in a tape recorder, but if the teacher approves and if that's something that she feels comfortable with, we think videotaping the process can be really powerful. As coaches, we're not just always sitting back and observing. We get in there, we support, um, we play with the kids, we model language, we get to do practice lessons so the teachers can see other ways of doing things, other ways of asking questions. So it's fun for me because I get to work with all these teachers. And as a coach, you going into the same classrooms because you're building the relationships with the teachers, but you're also building relationships with the children. They're getting to know you, getting comfortable with you so that if you ever need to model something in the classroom, it's not awkward because the kids already know you and you know what they're working on, what what they what dynamic they might bring to the classroom and so then when you're meeting with the teacher you can really give more effective strategies and feedback because you know exactly what she's dealing with